Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a timer in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what we're gonna be doing is creating this timer right here. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need to actually create ourselves a transparent video. So we can do that by clicking this button here or going up into file, new, and then transparent video. Once we have our transparent video created, we're gonna drag it onto the scene and then extend it to however long we want it to go. Then we're gonna go into effects and look for something called time code. So we're gonna search into here, it's under video effects video, time code, we're gonna drag and drop that on right here. And you'll notice it looks a little bit weird and that's because it's actually an official sort of time code. It's something you might throw onto a clip that you're sending to another team and then you might be able to reference it like for example at 59 seconds, 42 frames, there's a problem, something like that. So what we wanna do is we wanna transform this into a more uh, usable one. To do that, what we need to do is first off, let's lower the opacity of the background. That's what this is right here. So we're gonna drop that down to zero. We're then going to turn off the field symbol, which is the right side right there. Then we're going to go into time code source and we're gonna set that to generate. And what that means is it's going to start at whatever we want it to do instead of referencing something else inside of the, the, the uh, sequence right here. For example, if I change it to the clip, it references whatever the number of the clip is. You move this around, that number may or may not change. And then of course you can reference it to the media itself. But we, what we want is to generate. Then down here we have the time display. This is going to auto set to whatever your sequence is. However, make sure that if you're moving some things around, like for example, if you move this to another sequence, make sure that this time display matches the sequence frames per second. So if you move into a 60 frames per second uh, sequence, you definitely wanna move this to 60, otherwise your time will be off. So now that we have this, we have the ability to um, control our timer. So you'll notice that it goes right now forward at uh, you know r regular intervals. On the right side we have frames, this is seconds, minutes, and then hours. Let's say we just want minutes and seconds. To do that what we need to do is we need to actually crop off the edges right here. We can use two different methods to do this. One of them is to just create a mask on the time code and then just to drag it to where we want. So for example if we click right here we can just click this one and drag it to maybe right there and then drag this one to right here and we can cut the right and left side off however that's a little bit tedious it takes a little bit of time so what we can do is we can actually search for an effect called crop drag that crop in right like so and then now what we have the ability to do is to transform the left and the right crop right here and so what we want to do is we want to take the left crop and bring it so it crops the the top numbers off right there and we can use the arrow keys here to drop it down and you can see once we click on this that we actually have a, an ability to drag this which is a little bit easier. So let's drag that one right here and this one's cutting a little of that zero off so let's drag it to right there and you'll see that it actually is a little bit more precise this way 45.1 and 44.5. And so now we have the video going right here and I noticed one little uh, problem right there it's cutting the three off just a little bit so let's let's give that some room right there. So now we have our timer right here and it only goes with seconds and minutes which is looking pretty good. So now we want to reverse it. So that's actually a countdown. Problem is if we right click on this and go into speed and duration, you'll notice that there is no reverse speed button right here. And that is because we actually have the time code effect on the piece of footage here. And so it actually restricts us from reversing it for whatever read it, reason. Fix, to fix that is actually pretty easy. All we have to do is right click on this and go to nest. And once we go to nest, we have the ability to create a nested sequence. Let's just name it the timer and click OK. And so what we did was we threw this piece of footage. If you double click, you can open up that sequence. We threw this footage in its own sequence. And then now when we go outside here, what we are interacting with is no longer the piece of footage directly. We're in our interacting with the entire sequence, which means we can do the speed and duration. So once we click the reverse speed, you'll notice that it now it goes from start to finish right like so. And you'll notice as it goes down, it works right here. And you can see that it, the crop is maybe a little bit off right here at 11 seconds. So if we come in here, we can still make adjustments inside of here, click on the crop, bring it in just a little bit closer. And now that should be fine, or maybe even just a little bit closer. Uh, right like that should be good. 
And so there we go. Now we've made the adjustments and you'll notice that the adjustments propagate this way. One little quick tip is that once you're in here, you'll notice that the time code has no ability to change the color of the text and you can't really do it to hit this as well. It's kind of hard. So what we can do is we can add it straight to our sequence right here. If we just go and look for tent, we can drag and drop the tent onto the sequence. And now you can see that there is this map white to. Well, the only thing that the sequence is, is this white text. So if we change this, we can actually change the color of the text. See, so now it's red. I can make it purple if I wanted to. Let's go right there. And you'll notice that it changes just like that. So we can change the color as well. And so now that we have it reversed, we have the ability to create a timer for whatever we want. If we want to adjust the time of the timer, like where it starts, for example, we can just drag it out longer and that'll make this go up longer. And therefore we have more control. Now it starts at 28 and it goes down and we can extend this and make it go down more as well. And we can also operate on the start the starting time code to offset it a little bit to what we want. That is it on this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.